our friend. Goes the enemy. Unreachable. <laughs> Emergency broadcast system. We are under attack by conventional forces of the Russian army. It is believed the lead waves were disguised as commercial charter flights. Communications have broken down with other parts of the country. Large areas of the Midwest may have been overrun. I've never seen this. I didn't realize that this was the premise that there was just some kind of like loose, you know, pseudo D Day invasion of Colorado. You know, Colorado is probably bigger than France, but like, um, that's it's funny i just thought that like this film was like you know circled around like you know an economic loss a large-scale loss of world war ii i didn't realize that it was like just like you know some kind of like looping invasion it's not like they like hacked our presidency or anything like that and then made it impossible for us to fill out forms to, to save our country right that would be ridiculous <sighs> That would be a comical mockery of our existence. But, you know, this makes more sense than, you know, them, you know, taking our presidency and then making it impossible for us to fill out a form to save ourselves. That would be a mockery of our existence. This is just Red Dawn. <sighs> They just they can't find Colorado. Is that what it is? Or is there some alternate scenario where like somehow like the the Ru the Russian uh, army has hacked our military by using uh, super PACs and unregulated uh, unsurveilled wires from Cyprus? You know, some some far fetched scenario like that. We were going to help those kids from Red Dawn, but Michael Flynn wants a, wants a boat. You know how much it could cost to get a boat on the pandemic? Yeah. We're just going to let, them have the, let the Russians have Colorado. I'm trying to get my boat payment. 